Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is an editorial cartoon that was shared by Ndulu in The Nation. And uh, we wonder, I want us to check on that cartoon because it is telling the exact situation on the ground here about this current regime we are having. You can see in that cartoon uh, we have NSSF, NHIF, PAYI, exercise duty, and you can see those are they are in the rollers. Eh? Then on one side we have the Gashegwa, Ameshiko Tushingo Yamutu Kapisa. That person in between the rollers is the hustler, you and me. And the man in front, it is Rigad the Gashagwa holding the neck. Then at the back we have William Samoy Ruto holding the wheel. So he's, he will be rolling the rollers and they squeeze everything out of the hustler. They want to squeeze NSSF, they want to squeeze NHIF, they want to squeeze pay, they want to squeeze exercise duty. This is the real situation on the ground. But I'm bringing this, this discussion here today because I have serious questions that I want us to ask or get answers about the issue to do with the uh, NSSF, National Social Security Fund, I think in Ikosawa. The issue with the NHIF, we can have a more, uh, more discussion maybe another day, but more on the NSSF. We talk about the issue of exercise duty and pay. This one we have been discussing, tax after tax in this regime. So before we go deep into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. For trans subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Some time back, we had the Code Secretary General France Atwoli explaining how William Samuel Ruto had appetite for the NSSF money. Atwell was very clear that he was the only person who went there to stop the looting that was set to happen in the NSSF. Today, we have William Ruto as the president. So if really those allegations were true, what can stop William Samuel Ruto from his appetite to put his hand in the NSSF cup? Is it a basket? Yes. What can stop him from that? I'm saying this because William Ruto is um, an appendicaza. He's proposing to increase the NSSF from what they are cutting as of now. Is it 500? <laughs> to 1,000 shillings every month. Yani hiyo ni mshara ya mtu wa chini. Yule anapata mshara wa chini. Wanakata miatam. Sasa wako wanakata elf moja going forward. This can be a good move. At least so that when someone retire from work, he can have something to enjoy in the retirement. The move is good, but the motive, we are questioning the motive here. Having gone through some of the hard situation when someone is looking for his money, from the NSSF. Another big question. Because there is no one who is worried. Again, another question is that as you are increasing the NSSF, the question is also what about the salary of these people? The ceiling is depreciating, it is losing value. But the question is eh, those who are in the business are not, are not getting losses because the tax they put extra. They just put on the product and sell it to the consumer. Kama ni maindi, yo shuru wanaeka hapo na mwenye kununua maindi ni analipa. Mwenye beshara hana yu asara. If it is the product you are importing, that duty, exercise duty, kama unaongeza, wataeka tu hapo na mwenye kununua ni ata, ata yu garamo. The question is, what about wale wameandikwa kazi? What about the employees? There's no increment on salary. Yet the price of hunger they were buying one year ago, it has changed. So it means they have to spend more, but the income remains same. So two things. 
what Ruto should be telling us is why is it that when someone has reached a retirement age, then you want to access your money, it becomes a fight between you and NSSF. It's like you have opened a war. People will look for this man more than six months, more than a year, more than two years. That is the big question on this punchline. Increasing that money, there's no problem. But we are questioning the reason why, when you want to access that money, it becomes a problem. Until someone got retirement, he never enjoys the money. Some people even die without accessing that money. Why? Again, we knew that there was a time when they were changing the retirement age from 55 to... Is it 50 to 55 or 55 to 60? 55 to 60. The reason behind this was that there was no retirement money in the NSSF. So the question is, if you are cutting people this money every month, where does this money go? It's like that someone has reached retirement age, there's no money to, keep, to pay these people. It means there are people who have appetite for this money. So we have people, and I'm seeing this government. This is a government of entrepreneurs, by the way. It is very wrong to have entrepreneurs in the office. These people want to use NSF money for their own business. That's why they have appetite to increase it. So it is not for your good, nor, nor for my good. But it is a focus they have in the business. They want to collect this money, then put in, the, in their own business, earn profit, and by the end of five or ten years, they would have already got their profit, well and good. Then when they are leaving, sometimes even they don't return the amount. The other thing we are questioning here, in as much you want to increase the NSSF from 500 to 1,000, what about the interest? The interest rate is very low. This money you keep there for long. If it was someone engaging in business, you will have too much money. Yes. Ata wale watu wanaonwanga shares wako na pesa nyingi kuliko yeye NSSF. Why? Because we know this money is not always staying at the treasury. This money is being used in other activities. For example, company Maendeleo fulani ama biashara fulani. But the interest that comes with this money is very low. So, we have a government that has appetite to use the citizen money in trade, in their own business. But then, those people who are contributing this money have no chance to enjoy the benefit they get from this money. So we have to question this one. In as much they are milking Kenyans, can they have value for their money? Can they enjoy the interest rate that comes with this money? Those are the serious questions William Ruto should be answering today. Hatukatai. Kuongeza NSSF equal 1,000, it is good. But then the question is, what about the interest? Number two, what about the salary that is not increasing? Even these private companies, there is no law that is pushing them to Hakuna mtu anawasukuma waongeza watu mishahara. Mishahara imekuwa too constant. Kama wanaongeza is very little amount of salary wanaongeza. Labda wanakuongeza 200, wanaongeza 500 hapo with this economy. Does 500 shillings have value? So what we are seeing in this government is the leadership that has an appetite of forcing the poor, that is the bottom people must by force and by every means, support the top. These people were in business. So it was no longer bottom up. It is those at the bottom to support those at the top. Not those at the top to equalize with the ones at the bottom. No, you contribute your money. By the time you are discovering, they have already earned what they want. As simple as that. So this government... Ndulu has just demonstrated exactly what is going to happen and what already we are experiencing in William Ruto's regime. They should be telling us what laws are they putting in place so that if someone will die today, God forbid, accessing that man once you go and apply, ina chukua miaka, huyu mutu labda ameacha watoto, 
So mayatima kwa access pesa ya baba yao na mama yao inakuwa ni vita na NSSF. Why? Let me just read the two comments as I conclude this discussion. Uh, views from Kenyans. Otieno Charles. Nothing to laugh about is how Ndulu has put it right there. No penny inside our pocket again with Nabi and eh, Rigiji on the wheels and eh, on this we must learn the hard way going forward. I agree with you. Lastly, Nelson Kamau. I lost my sister to a road accident last year, but but one. She was working at KMTC for almost three years. She had worked there. Her LSSF contribution was only 35,000 by the time of her demise. We made a claim over six months ago. We have not been paid a single penny up to date. Just at 30, 32K. Contribute more for better future happy life my brother you have no idea what you are talking about those are views from kenya there are many we cannot read all of them ruto and gashagwa and his government have a plan to use nsf money for their own business they earn money but they don't care about the poor or the people they refer to as hustler boda boda mamboga and the poor you will help them to achieve what they want their work is to enrich themselves by milking dry the poor.